Alright, starting by shaking things out, just loosening up, and then just some light bounces just to let the upper body sort of completely loosen, and start to get that heart rate up, and then we'll turn that into some jumping jacks when you're ready. And just focus this morning on waking up the whole body. We are going to move through circuits that are lower body core or upper body focused. And so we get a lot of variety in um, while still sort of pushing the hit a little bit and getting that heart rate up. So for now, just using this, these first few minutes to draw all of your energy, all of your attention into the workout and just get yourself set up for this Monday and this week. Light on the toes here. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Into some butt kicks just to carry on with that cardio upbeat. Get the heart rate going a little bit. Get the blood pumping a little bit more. Make sure your shoulders are nice and loose here. Start to drive your attention to your breathing. Even as you move those big deep breaths in. Let's go four. Let's go three, two, and one. Slow things down into those high kicks. This is one you can do in place or you can move around the room. Whatever works for you. You just want to get those toes up nice and high. Start to feel that stretch through the glutes and the hamstrings. Shoulders stay down and back. Let's go three, two, one more each side. Feet to the mat and switch to those knees to chest. Just a couple right up to the torso. Then you can add the opener in. Loosen up those glutes. Open up those hip flexors and start to work on balance as well. What a drastic drop in temperature from yesterday. Whew. We chose yesterday as the best day to go out and dig up a 25 by 13 foot square of grass for a garden. It's great. It's awesome. It's like someone took like brown paint and I just had dirt, sweat everywhere. It's great. All right, one more each side, but it's done. And drop. All right, shake the legs out. Nice wide stance, arms up and out to the side. Start with that gentle pull, left to right. Keep it nice and easy, easy, excuse me, till you start to feel those muscles loosen a little bit. Stretch into it. And when you feel good about the stretch, you can start to pull a little bit further in. Paying attention to your lower back and the sides of the torso. Pulling through those fingertips to stretch all the way through. Let's go one more each side. Stand up nice and tall, square the hips off, and you're going to go in forward, the toe touches. Pushing your butt back behind you, and again, taking these nice and easy until you start to feel those muscles loosen up and give a little bit more. And then you can start to really draw your torso down into that stretch. Slight pause at the bottom is just fine, but we'll leave the holds for post-workout cool down. Make sure you're coming back up to the center to square the hips off. Square up those muscles, straighten up those muscles on the spine before you reach for that next side. Let's go one more each side. And then stand up nice and tall. Take that deep breath in. Reach for the ceiling, long spine. Push your butt back behind you and reach for the floor. Go ahead and sink into this stretch for five, four, three, 
two, and one. And then with your fingers on the ground, start with that hip shift right to left. Nice and gentle. Again, letting those muscles sort of warm up into movement. We'll start to loosen, and then you can get a little bit deeper into that stretch. Keep it nice and slow, super purposeful. Push the hips back. Back just a little bit. Carry on with that shift right to left. And then draw the hips forward so they're in between your feet again. Three, two, and one. Straighten both legs. Sink into the stretch again for five, four, three, two, and one. And then walk those heels and toes in towards the center, step by step, until they're behind your hands and roll the shoulders up to the ceiling and shake everything out. So total body to bottom, you're gonna want a set of dumbbells and you're gonna want a mat. We're gonna be up and down off the mat, but each circuit will either be on our feet or be on the mat. So there's no up down in that sense. So, Oh. Okay, let's dive into our first circuit. It's going to be lower body focused. These are all exercises that you are familiar with, so you'll be ready to rock and roll as we get into them. We're going to start with just that basic warm up set of body weight squats. We're going to go prisoner squats, so fingertips behind your head. Stance is going to be whatever is comfortable for you. That's usually about shoulder width apart. If you want to go wider, that is fine. Let's go two and one. Sit back into that squat. That probably doesn't need to be as loud as that. Huh? All right. Use this first half of the round to wake up the body and just feel super connected to the movement. Dropping that butt low. Let's go three. Two, and one. Shake it out, arms down. We're going to turn that body weight squat into a pop squat. So pushing through the toes out of the squat itself. Squat and push through the toes. Use your arms to sort of push against the floor and give yourself a little bit of height here. We're going to have a little bit of cardio in most of these circuits. Five, four, three, two, and one, but mostly we're going to use just that sort of repetitive movement with one area of the body to get the challenge up. Reverse lunges. I want your right leg to stay in front. You're going to step back with the left throughout the whole circuit. So just the left leg steps back. Step it back. Draw it forward. Nice and tall. Keep your balance this way and work that right leg. Really targeting those quad muscles. Two and one up to the top. Left side. Switching things up, keeping things balanced. Plant the heel, plant the toes. Two and one. Step it back and pull it forward. So, again, body's still slightly in warm up mode. We should feel pretty good about everything as we go back to the top of this round. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. We're going back into those air squats. Feet about shoulder width apart. See how low you can get your butt without losing form. Boom. And push through those heels, through the toes, back up to the top. Awesome. Chest sitting nice and tall. Imagine having a barbell on your back, right? You can't go too far forward. You're going to lose your balance. So keep that nice proud stance. Three, two, one. All right, shake it out. We're going into pop squat mode. And then you're going to grab your dumbbells, okay? Pop squats first in two and one. Let's go. Get that heart rate up a little bit. And remember, we're sort of moving through circuits that are lower body, upper body, and core focused. So you know that you're going to get that break from this leg work in just a little bit. Three, two, and one. All right, grab your dumbbells. 
adding a little weight to this reverse lunge. No change to the lunge, just adding weight. Step it back with the left leg, pull it forward. Keep that right foot planted solidly on the ground, facing forward, and try to keep a lot of attention on the work coming from that leg. Three, two, and one. All right, left foot forward by this time, feeling the legs, feeling completely awake. Step back with the right foot. Here we go. One and pull it forward. Yep, awesome. Getting that back knee nice and close to the ground. Gentle touch down is fine if you can control that descent. Five, four, three, two, and one. There it is, dumbbells to the side. Nicely done. Body's warmed up, grab some water. Leg circuit one is in the books. Woo! And we're back. All right. Shake things out. If anything needs to be stretched out, do it now. And we're going to head down to the mat. No weights needed for this round. We're going to focus on some ab work here. And again, we're going to have that little punch of cardio to get the heart rate up. So, Mats on the ground, we're gonna start with bicycle crunches. So really twist into this to wake up those obliques, okay? Here we go. Onto the mat. Bicycle crunches to start us off. In four, three, two, and one. Twisting into it. Keep the tension out of your neck, so if your fingertips are behind your head, they're not pulling on your head, they're just resting there so that your elbows can stay nice and wide. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. All right, side planks. We're still working on those obliques. Let's start on that left side. Left elbow on the mat. All you're going to do is lift the hips right up off the mat. This first time through, just that static hold. Just lock in your form. If you look down, you should be able to see your toes. Some nice straight lines here. And that right arm reaches right up towards the ceiling. Hold steady. Keep those hips high for three, two, and one. Drop to the ground. Nice. All right, let's balance things off. So we'll hit that right side. And then we're going to get to our cardio exercise. So hips up. Reach that left hand towards the ceiling to keep that nice straight body line. Think about tucking your tailbone in here. Really pay attention to the muscles doing the work right now. I know it seems like the last thing you want to do, but four, three, two, and one. Hips down. We're going to hit cardio. So flip it around. We're going for a 20 second interval of mountain climbers. We're going to hit go in two and one. Let's do it. So you're driving those knees forward, keeping those shoulders down, keeping the butt down, and see if you can get that heart rate to rev just a little bit here, halfway through this second circuit. Keep pushing, keep those toes moving. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right, back to the top, back to those bicycles. No change to the bicycles. Again, Big twist into this. See if you can hit those obliques. Here we go. Make sure that you're really reaching that elbow for the knee. And that way you're sort of forcing the torso to twist. And those obliques to fire up. Five seconds to go. All the way through it. Three, two, and one. All right, back to our side planks. This time, we're going to add a little mo motion into it. So left elbow down. Let's just start by lifting into the side plank. And then if you're feeling comfortable with it, drop that left hip down to the mat, tap, and right back up. If the hold, if the isometric hold feels better for you, you can hold there as well. Tap. And up, we've got five seconds to go. Yeah, nice. Three, two, 
and one. Nice job. Over that right side. Those quick transitions. Remember, no time to completely recover. We're lifting in two and one. Find that good form first. And then when you're ready for it, tap the right hip down to the mat and right back up. You want to keep the hips facing forward. So don't change your form. Just add in that movement. Three, two, and one. Down to the mat. Flip it around for one more round of these mountain climbers. And then round two is done. So, high plank first. Let's go. Hit go mode. Try to get that heart rate rocking again. Because again, remember, we'll switch out of core mode here. In just under 10 seconds. Fighting through the end of this buzzer. Let's go three. Let's go two. And one. Go ahead and take that break. Core's awake. Legs are awake. We're going upper body next. So take a couple seconds here. Grab some water. And then we'll rock it to this next round. You're definitely going to need your weights for this next round. So grab those now too. All right. All right. Legs. One round done. Core. One round done. We're going to hit every muscle group in the upper body for this upper body round. So obviously, shoulders are feeling awake already from those mountain climbers. We're going to start super focused with bicep curls. So each exercise here is going to hit a different upper body muscle group, okay? So focus in on the muscle that you're working in that moment. We're not going to have any cardio here, so this is all about strength, all right? So dumbbells in hand. Let's rock and roll into this first set of bicep curls. Palms facing forward. Two dumbbells in hand. Elbows locking at your side. No movement from your elbows. Shoulders to elbows are glued to your side so that you're really working those biceps here. Squeeze all the way through. Nice. Four, three, two, and one. All right, biceps done. We are going shoulder press. So this is going to be that static hold at shoulder height. Here we go. Press it up. Right down to shoulder height. And again, shoulders down. Keep that tailbone tucked. And focus on that press. And then on the descent, you want some control. Boom. Hit shoulder level. And right back up. Excellent. Three, two, and one. Bring it in. We've got reverse flies coming up next. So, hinge at the waist. I want you to picture the muscles doing the work as they pull those dumbbells out and away from your body. That's what I want you to think about here. So, you're not lifting the dumbbells, you're pulling with those back muscles and getting those dumbbells as far from the torso as you can as those muscles squeeze in towards the spine. Three, two, and one, stand it up nice and tall. Press your dumbbells together or use a single. We're going up overhead for extensions. Lock the elbows in, again, down and press. So again, elbows to shoulders are locked in place. Tuck in the tailbone. And this is all about those triceps. Breathing through it. Five seconds to go. Wait for that timer. Three, two, one last rep. Woo! And bring it in to the front. We're going back to the biceps. This time we're going to go hammer curl. So no change in how locked in your elbows are. It's just this time your palms are facing in towards each other. Squeezing those dumbbells so that that tension starts at your forearms and works its way all the way up to the biceps. Four. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. All right, here we go. We're back into shoulder press. This time, let's alternate presses so the hold is here. You're going to go one, one. So never letting off on that tension. Yeah, great holds. Super steady. Keep those elbows up at shoulder height. Breathe through it. 
Five seconds to go. We're almost there. Two and one. Woo! Bring it in. Back into reverse flies. Nothing changes. I want you to keep that mindset though, right? Pulling the dumbbells away from your body with the lat muscles. Boom. And bring it in. Nice straight backs here. Nice long spine. Shoulders stay down and back so you can keep the tension out of your neck. Let's go four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells together, last exercise of this round. Press those dumbbells up overhead, lock the elbows in. Here we go. Descend and push through the ceiling. Tuck in the tailbone. So you keep that back nice and straight. Try to keep the arch out of the lower back and just focus on that tricep push. Five seconds to go. Three, two, last rep. One, bring it in and drop those dumbbells nice and down. Hit every upper body muscle there. Arms are probably feeling it. Back is feeling it, shoulders feeling it. So we're gonna give the upper body a little bit of a break and we're gonna go back to legs. <sighs> All right, sip of water. Woo! All right, feeling good? All right, so we're gonna dive into our second leg circuit. And we're going to work with single-sided and split stance movements here. So you're going to want both dumbbells again. We're going to go for single leg deadlifts. You can do this one of two ways. First way, you can do the full down to the T and right back up. Or you can go B stance and keep that toe, that back toe on the ground. You're still coming forward and right back up. Whichever one feels best for your body, that's the one you're going to do. So grab your dumbbells first. Let's start with that right leg in front. Right leg stance leg. And you're going to go in. So into that deadlift. Down and up. And again, you can do B stance or you can do that back leg up behind you to the T. Either way, keep the dumbbells nice and close to the body and keep the back nice and straight. Three, two, and one. Left foot down. Here we go. Let's even things up here. We have five seconds. So again, dumbbells nice and close to the body. Two, and one. Hit it. And if you want to, you can do one round of each, right? If you're doing the B stance this time and you want to switch gears next time through, you can do that as well. Form comes first. Three, two, and one. Nice and tall. All right, here we go. We're going for a little isometrical. Right foot forward, left foot back. We're going to go into a pulsing lunge here with the weight. So down in, pulse. See if you can pulse for the full 20 seconds. If the legs start to burn, stand up, shake them out, and then right back into it. Keep those shoulders nice and tall. Five seconds to go. Yeah, nice. Back knees nice and close to the ground. Two, one. Woo! All right. Shake those legs out. We have a couple of seconds here. And then you're going to step it forward with that left foot. Here we go. Down into the lunge. Pulse it out. Make sure both feet are facing forward. There's no step there. So this is a good time to sort of check that form, that little piece of the puzzle, and correct it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Heck yeah, with that weight. All right, back to the top. No rest for the weary here. Right leg forward. If you want to switch things up, you definitely can. So right leg forward, either the single leg deadlift or the B stance deadlift. Either way, nice long spine. Don't let those shoulders round at the bottom of the movement. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right, left leg comes to the front. Three, two, take that deep breath in. Go in for that first rep and pull back up to the top. 
Pick a spot about three feet in front of you. Lock in that gaze. Think about nothing but keeping that body balanced. Three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, shake it out. We have one more round of those pulses. So we're going to start with that right leg in front. Step back with the left. Drop in and pulse it out. So another thing that you can do if your legs start to burn on this one, just drop those dumbbells. You're already close to the floor. If the legs start to take too much, drop them and keep pulsing it out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Big push through that front heel and stand up nice and tall. Nice. Here we go. Last 20 seconds of this round. Nice wide stance. You're covering lots of ground. Two and one. Drop it in. Little pulses. So one inch up. Yeah, this is great. It's also really good practice for that up, down movement of a forward lunge instead of that sort of forward backwards movement. Hold steady. We're so close. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Dumbbells to the side. We got two leg rounds done. We have an upper body and one core round done, which means we're going to head back down to the mat to finish up with some more core. No weights needed, just the mat and whatever energy you've got left. Rocking through this Tabata today. It is a normal week of workouts, by the way. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. We're all set to go. This is not posted yet because, again, for some reason, we chose the 90 degree day to dig out a garden. I don't know. Smart decisions? No. Did we do it? Yeah. All right. So, again, no weight needed. Down to the mat. We're going to start in bear crawl position with some shoulder taps. So we're going to hit those legs again a little bit. We're going to hit the shoulders a little bit, but I want you focusing on core, okay? Here we go. Let's start that last round right now. So on all fours, that bear crawl, you're going to lift those knees just up off the ground. Here we go. And shoulder taps. Keep the butt low. And keep the shoulders and hips facing the mat, even as you shift your center of gravity right to left. You can feel that bear crawl after those lunges. Three, two, and one. Knees down. All right. We're going to go into a half kneeling pose. So, right elbow down, right knee down. You're going to do a leg lift with the left leg. Kick it forward, draw it back and down. So left leg up, forward, back, and down. Getting those glutes, getting those obliques again. Boom. Hold strong. Three, two, and one. Hips down, switch sides. So left elbow down, left knee down. Go ahead and lift up. Right leg up, forward, back and down. You want to get up so that leg is about parallel to the ground so that as you kick it forward, you're really feeling how much strength it takes to hold that leg up. Three, two, and one. All right, we're going to keep it simple for this last exercise of the circuit. Elbow plank hold. Elbows down. Nice straight line. Here we go. Tuck that tailbone down and hold steady. Taking some deep breaths in during this pause. We have 10 seconds to go. I want you focused entirely on those core muscles. Two and one. Knees down. One more time through here. So back to that bear crawl. Shoulder taps in three, two, and one. Knees just up off the mat, left to right. Try to keep your shoulders down. Nice straight line from shoulder to shoulder and neck to tailbone. Three, two, and one. All right, let's work that left side leg lift. So your right arm is down, your right knee is down. You're going to lift the hips up to start, and then lift the leg, 
Kick it forward, back, and down. You can reach the left arm up towards the ceiling. You can keep it bent and the hands on your head. Whatever works for you. Four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Over to the other side. Let's finish up this Tabata round. Good form all the way through. Lift those hips. Here we go. Lift, forward, back, and down. Breathing through it. You know it's only 20 seconds, so whatever burn you're feeling in those glutes right now, you've got this. Four, three, two, and one. All right, one more elbow plank. We're going to ignore that final timer and push it just a little bit on this plank. So, elbows down, find great form, and settle in here. We're going to push this plank challenge just a couple of seconds longer than the Tabata round tells us to. Again, nice straight lines here. Neck to tailbone to heels and across the shoulder blades. Ignore that. Another 10 seconds and we're done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees down and go ahead and push all the way back into child's pose. To give yourself that break and give yourself this time to just kind of consider the work that you just put in. Taking some time to focus on breathing and letting go of tension that you find you're still holding on to anywhere in the body, whether that's the shoulders or the neck or the jaw. I want you to step to the right with your right hand. So you're going to move the right hand out to the right, follow with the left. Stay in child's pose here. You're just going to feel that stretch a little bit more on the left side. Back to the center. And then step that left hand out to the left. Follow with your right. Stay in child's pose and then just feel that stretch. And back to the center. Pull yourself up onto all fours here. Let's stretch those back muscles. Open up the chest. So you're going to round the back up to the ceiling by tucking the tailbone. Moving that stretch vertebrae, vertebrae by vertebrae up to the neck. And then pull the belly button down towards the mat and lift the chest to chin. And you're going to move between these two poses according to your own breathing pattern. So no rush. No, no need to match a tempo. Just take it nice and slow so that you can feel those muscles stretching, loosening up. Go ahead and come to neutral. Walk the hands forward. We're going to go into a cobra or half cobra. So, wrists stacked under the shoulders here, hips down to the mat. If you want to close your eyes and pull those shoulder blades down and back. Again, remember any of these stretches that we're doing, you want to think about creating length instead of sort of folding or just moving into a position. So, if that means that half cobra is easier for you to keep those shoulders down and back, that's where you want to be. Three. Two, and one, go ahead and pull those hips back again. This time you're going to step it back and lift those hips up to the ceiling into down dog. If you feel like you're holding on to any tension in the neck, if your chin is sort of lifted up towards your elbows, let the natural weight of your head just draw it down. Let go of that tension. Horses. 
relax the shoulders forward and walk the toes to meet your hands. One last chance to sort of give the body a complete scan. And when you're ready, take a breath in and roll those shoulders up to the ceiling. A couple of big shoulder rolls back to loosen up any knots that are still lingering there.